Now this illustration is still applying the OSHA regulations, but instead of a maintenance standard, we're looking at OSHA 1926 subpart K, which is safety related work practices of uh, OSHA where a person is doing construction work. Now notice we may have a, a flexible cable feeding that pedestal with GFCI protected circuit breakers or plugs and that worker is working under a GFCI protected uh, circuit or if possible in some cases an approved equipment grinding conductor program. Now notice this individual is drilling holes three quarter to one inch drill type holes through uh, framing members and those holes are designed for the passage of cables or conduit and then the, uh, the framing members can be used as supports to support the cable or the wiring uh, method. But notice this is temporary wiring so uh, the key article would be article of 590. Uh, 590 is the uh, uh, article that deals with uh, temporary power construction uh, regulations that are less than the wiring methods that would be for a particular uh, piece of uh, uh, equipment or installation. The only thing that Article 590 requires to meet Article 230 would be the service equipment that's feeding that pedestal. But everything that feeds from the service equipment to that pedestal and the cord and plug connected equipment will fall under OSHA 1926 subpart K during construction and mainly uh, the NEC Article 590. So we're using uh, a 500 uh, uh, series here because we're using 590. So, so those are special uh, articles uh, that deal with special rules based upon what's taking place. Now let's just say all the construction has been performed by OSHA 1926 subpart K and the NEC starting with 590 and other pertinent sections and the equipment uh, has been uh, and wiring has been accepted by the facility approved by the authority having jurisdiction then we would uh, uh, look at uh, NFPA 70B for rules because that pertains to maintenance. But however, the maintenance person needs to know the NEC as far as changing one-on-one. -on -one. For example, if I was changing a switch on the wall, then 70B is going to re uh, recommend the use of Article 404 for switches. What kind of switch is it? Single post switch? Uh, say a three-way, four-way switch. If you were changing out a receptacle, then 70B naturally is going to recommend the use of Article 406. What kind of plug is it? Is it a GFCI plug? Is it an AFCI plug? Is it a regular plug? Is it a duplex? Is it a single? So we know we need to know the NEC just well enough as a maintenance person to reference the section that would deal with what I'm trying to replace one-on-one -on -one under maintenance conditions. And that's what I figure 1-15 is pointing out that this OSHA 1920, uh, uh, 26 subpart K lists rules for safety during the construction period of a facility.